Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mark with Spagabber Backpacking. Thanks for joining me today. I'm out here in my backyard and it's a little bit windy today. I've got the lapel mic on because I know that the volume, the, the audio through the camera is going to be a little bit bad today. So we're going with this method to keep it a little bit cleaner. Still maybe a little bit of wind noise because it is pretty breezy out here. But that breeze is exactly why the test that I'm going to do today is going to be as effective as it's going to be. So what are we here to talk about today? Well, you guys know I really like using alcohol stoves. You see me use the Spagiver stove. I built the Mini Atomic. I showed you guys how to build a Mini Atomic or an Atomic the other day. And so today I'm taking a step in a completely different direction, one that a lot of people probably aren't expecting. And today we're going to talk about some canister stoves. The two that I've got right here with me today are the BRS, which is a popular one on Amazon. It's a uh, lightweight, very cheap stove option. This thing weighs like 25 grams and is available on Amazon for like $16, $17. Very, very compact, extremely lightweight, made of titanium and uh, works really well. The other one that I've got is an old standby favorite of mine. Uh, this one actually only has like one use on it. It's pretty much a brand new MSR Pocket Rocket. This is the original, not the new one. There is a second version out, but I don't have it. So what we're gonna be doing today is using this one for this test. And so what I wanted to do was figure out how efficient are these, and then kind of do a little bit of math to determine how long a 100 gram fuel canister is going to last out on the trail, and what the tipping point is between going ultralight with alcohol or going ultralight with one of these little minimalist canister stoves. Now, there are some areas that you're gonna go to where you've gotta use something like this because it has to have an off function, something where you can actually turn it off. And so these come in really handy in those situations. But today we want to find out about efficiency. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to boil two cups of water using each one. It's breezy out here and I've heard that this one can be very inefficient in any breeze. So in a perfect situation, sitting inside, we can see you know, pretty similar numbers. But what's it going to be like out here, real world, wind blowing through, no windscreen. I'm going to be using my Tokes 550 milliliter pot, which is what I normally use. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my scale. I'm going to weigh my canister before and after each test, boiling two cups of cold water. Both of them will be coming out of my refrigerator. So the water is going to be nice and cold and we're going to get a good test and we're going to see which one takes more fuel. Stick around. Let's go. All right, so I've got the stove right here. I've got it turned all the way off. I weighed the canister and a full canister. It came in at 210.7 grams. So we've got that to start with. I've got my pot and you can see this is water is cold because it's got some condensation forming on the outside of this. So pouring this in here, that's my two cups. Put the lid on that. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fire this up quick start there. Turn it up pretty good. Get that thing going. And now we're just going to wait for it to boil. Okay, so we're getting really close here. Uh, I've got bubbles forming. Bubbles kind of coming up right now. So it's getting really close. It's been pretty windy out here. And so I'm sure that's going to affect. It's definitely affected how long it takes to boil. I'm not doing anything with how long it takes. I'm just bring the water to a boil. We're going to measure it. All we're doing is efficiency, not speed today. That's not what we're doing right now. So we should be close any second now, I think. So 
So it's getting really close. I'm keeping a close eye on it. I keep checking. And the reason is, as soon as it comes to a boil, I want to shut it off so that I'm catching it right as it rolls to a boil. But it is very close. I've got a lot of bubbles coming up. Uh, it's just a matter of any time now. And there we go. I'm going to call that a boil and turn it off right there. Okay. So that was that one. What we're going to do now is I'm going to get this whole thing taken apart, weigh it, and get this whole round set up to go again, this time with the BSR. All right, so I went ahead and pulled the stove off. Haven't weighed it yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the scale back on. It's zeroed out, set it on, and we've got 197.7. Which means it took 13 grams total to bring that two cups of water to a boil. Now, I've got everything ready now. I'm going to go ahead and put the BSR on, make sure it's turned off. Now, one thing I will tell you is that when you put this one on, there's less leakage from the seal as you put it on. That may factor in. Cold water again, two cups going in. Go ahead and get this thing going. I can already tell you that the wind is having a bigger effect on this. I can hear it really being blown almost out by this wind. So I think that's gonna have a huge effect. We'll have to see but we've got a, an initial weight, so we'll see what it ends up at. Let's do it. There we go, there's a boil. I'm turning it off and uh, it had just come to a boil. I was getting this thing set up. Uh, so real close to exactly when it came on. I saw the bubbles starting to come up, so I came on to do it. I will say that maybe I had this one turned up a little bit higher, but it seems like this one came to a boil a little bit faster. Um, now, I may not have had both of them turned up at the same rate, but I have seen a couple of videos where some guys have done some tests and whether you have it all the way open or midway, it still uses the same amount of fuel to boil that cup of water or two cups of water in this case. So it's gonna be relatively close. I could do a test where it's wide open, but once you pass a certain point, you're not really getting any extra flame out of it. You're just wasting fuel. Now I had it to the point, both of them, I turned them down to the point where I felt like it was getting the most consistent flame and it wasn't like flaring out as much. So that's kind of what I did in this case with the wind. So we will see how it turns out. So why don't we get this thing taken apart and find out. I don't want any of the condensation that's on here to uh, affect its weight. So we are zeroed out, placing it on, and we are at, wow, 181.0. So it looks like we did about 16, almost 16 grams on that one. Uh, so it looks like it did burn a little bit more than the MSR. So let me get these things all cleaned up and we'll go inside. Actually, we'll stay out here and we'll talk about what this means. All right, so we just did a boil test, two cups of cold water, a new pretty fresh 100 gram, the smaller canister. What I like about this is this canister, if I have my Tokes 550, this canister fits down inside. So that's something 
I really like about being able to use the 100 rather than the 200 or 250 or the larger sizes. Uh, but, so I've got this one and I've got the BSR. It's a uh, very small, folds up. So check this out. If I fold all these arms up and I fold this around, thing out of here this thing folds up super super small look at this I mean that is a small little package right there meanwhile you have the pocket rocket now I believe that the pocket rocket 2 has the same type of burner as this one with this little tri wing here that blocks a little bit of the wind where this one folds up just the arms just come up. The Pocket Rocket 2 folds up a lot like this one, but it's just a little bit smaller than this. It's not nearly as small as the BSR. So we did the test and we figured out how much it took, how much fuel it took to bring two cups of water to a boil out here in the elements, in this wind, not such a controlled environment test, to see just how efficient these two are, which one burns more fuel. Now, after calculating it, MSR burned 13 grams, the BSR burned 16.7 grams. Now, is that significant? Well, depends. Depends on how many times you're gonna be boiling water while you're out on the trail, how long your trip is, I think that the reason this one is more efficient there is because of this little try. The three prongs there over the burner protect from the wind. So if you have it positioned just right, only one side is gonna be getting hit. If you position it wrong, which I probably did because I had it set up about like that, with the wind coming from that direction, heading in, it was probably burning out, blowing out too. So I probably could have been more efficient by positioning it so that it was blocking and just hitting the one and blocking the other two, but that's not how I had it set up. And on this one, it's got like little fins all the way around that kind of uh, semi block the wind. And, and so that's how it deals with it. But let's talk about what those 13.16.7 mean. I mean, we're only talking 3.7 grams. So what does that mean over the life of this canister? So if you want to use this canister and you want to get the most life out of it, if you're using the MSR Pocket Rocket, you will get 7.7 .7 burns. Two cups, cold water, similar situation to what I'm doing here. If you're in a windier condition, you probably will get a little bit less, but 7.7 .7 is what I came up with doing what I did here. If you're using the BSR, you're only going to get 5.9. So. If you're out for six days and you're doing one meal a night, that's two cups of water, this one is gonna be pushing it. And if you get a night that's better, you may make it. If you get a couple of days that are worse with more wind, you may not make it. Just something to be aware of. So that's where the difference is. You can get a full week using this one and this canister, whereas you're pushing it on six days with this one. So it's a one day difference. So why don't we talk about how this compares to how I normally use alcohol stoves. Okay, so we did the test. Now I've gone through and run some numbers just to give you an idea of what the comparison between using a canister stove uh, like this MSR Pocket Rocket that can give you seven days or using an alcohol stove. Now the alcohol stove that I chose to use for this test or for this comparison is my Spagiver stove which the Spagiver stove combined with the titanium windscreen that I would use with it are a combined 11 grams. So I factored that in. My fuel bottle that I would take is an ounce and a half. So that is 42 grams. Factored that in as well. If we talk about this canister, a brand new 100 gram canister weighs 210.7 grams. The pocket rocket itself weighs 85.9 grams. So if you start adding that up, and let's talk about a seven day trip. So a lot of people think that there's a tipping point 
around four or five days where the canister stove wins out in the weight shootout over the alcohol stove. But there's a lot of factors there that you have to consider. So let's talk about that. Seven day trip, I pack up, uh, let's talk about what I'm gonna use. So I will do coffee in the morning. I don't usually do a hot breakfast, so it's usually coffee in the morning and then a dinner. I do cold or just no prep stuff for lunches. Anyone who's traveled with me knows that's how I roll. That's how I take care of business out there on the trail. So that's how I'm setting this test up. So I'm doing a half ounce in the morning for the alcohol and a full ounce at night for the alcohol. Now I will tell you that with the Spagaver stove, I can usually boil the water that I need in between a half and a three quarter ounce load without having to go to a full ounce. So I'm even overshooting what I use a little bit in this comparison. Then I used the 13 grams that this took to boil the two cups of water. And then I'm adding another seven for my coffee in the morning. So 20 grams, so 40 grams a day on the alcohol side, 20 grams a day on the pocket rocket canister stove side of the day. So for a seven day trip, what I'm gonna need to hit the trail is 333 grams on the alcohol side versus 297 grams on the canister side. So right off the bat, the canister setup is lighter, but does it remain lighter throughout the trip? So day two, 293 alcohol, 277 canister. Still, canister's winning out. So for two days now, canister's winning out. Day three, 253 on the alcohol, 256 on the canister, so pretty much dead even. Now day four, we hit 213 on the alcohol and 236 on the canister. So now the canister is starting to be a little bit heavier. And that's gonna continue and the gap's gonna widen as we go through. So we've got 173 versus 216, 133 versus 196. And when we end the week, we've got 93 versus the 176. And that's how that all rolls up to give me my seven days. So it's kind of a toss up. Which way do you wanna go? For a seven day trip, I think you can still get away with a, an alcohol setup. Granted, there are some areas where you're not gonna be allowed to do it, but if we're talking about efficiency and straight weight and you're doing it the way that I do it, hey, it seems to me that the, uh, the canister stove and the alcohol stove are pretty close, but my Spagiver stove on the alcohol side does win out by this much, just the narrowest of margins. But guys, that wasn't what I was here to do. I was really looking to compare MSR, BSR, efficiency, 13 grams, 16.7 grams. This will give you 7.7 .7 days, where this will give you 5.9. So if you're going out for a week, the pocket rocket beats the BSR. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Leave me some comments, some feedback down below. Like this channel, subscribe if you haven't already. Go down there, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get notified of any of my upcoming videos. Every time I post one, you'll get to see it first. Guys, I appreciate you tuning in. I will see you down the trail.